Miss Tuesday's show. Here's the RE cap presented by Honda. How are you, Wendell? <laughs> How am I? <laughs> How am I? <laughs> the dulcet tones of Wendell Pierce. All right, sir. Rich, I just wish it's about losing on a football play. And we didn't lose on a football play. The league is doing everything possible to push fans like me away. I am a lifelong Saints fan. I went to Tulane Stadium with my dad, who's 94 years old tomorrow. And you know what we did? I bought a suite and celebrated his 94th birthday. It wasn't about the playoff game for me. It was about love of family. We were able to create memories around the product that they put out there, and they do a disservice. It's a reality show. I don't know if I can go back to the stadium because I know I feel like I'm being played. Give voice to the Rams' sense of things with everybody talking about how the Saints should be the ones going to Atlanta because of the blown call, Andrew. Richard played 13 years. I've seen a ton of games. I've had a ton of calls that could have gone one way or the other or should have or whatever that have been claimed to be missed. Plays happen, man, and, and refs make mistakes uh, just like we do and, and everyone else does in their job. But the bottom line is there was a lot of mistakes made in the game. I mean, I think there's multiple pictures across the league of how many times the clock was on zero when they snapped it and the different face mask calls that were missed in the game. And to me, it's just it's hard to say that the last foul is the foul you want to argue about that's missed. I mean, if you're going to argue about that one, then you have to go back and fix the others. He is also back here on the show, but for the first time as the Minister of Culture of the University of Texas in a certain way. Good to see you, Matthew McConaughey. How are the you? MOC. You are the M. <laughs> Where does the Minister of Culture stand on Bevo rushing a dog? Loved it. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> loved it. Now, this could have gotten obviously ugly, but <laughs> yes, so our handler says it had nothing to do with the dog. What, what do we have this here? This says he was upset and he didn't, you know. They were not going to lose and it was, that it, day. It was a coincidence that the dog was there. It looked intentional to me. Dogs are now having restraining orders against Bevo right now. you got to watch where you walk. <laughs> I got Mariucci hands. Gratuitous yeah. hand movements that have nothing to do with what's going on the screen, Rich. <laughs> I haven't breathed for over half an hour right now. I know what we need to do. We need uh, robot officials. We need cyborgs. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, yeah. he's, it's Burton Ernie. I, I thought it was kind of a thing. That's and Mariucci is animal. <laughs> Tony Romo is the kind of guy, he's getting plays from the Three-Eyed Raven. <laughs> I mean, you ever, you ever watch that show with Khaleesi? What would Red from Shawshank Redemption say about Antonio Brown possibly leaving the Steelers never to well, be seen? Well, that's going to be the filthiest departure I've seen in a long time, Sonny. <laughs> Man with that kind of ability. Where would he be? Leaving the likes of a quarterback who looks like Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> For more of Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.